Hello everyone, welcome to the Halls of Stone solo mage boost where I am making 3,600 gold per hour the last week since I figured this out from Taiwan uh, boost video and the talents alongside and you might be asking what's the experience per hour well the experience per hour is this that experience is with heirlooms so negative 20 percent from each of those with a solo boost so me solo mage boosting only one low level person at 12 minutes per run they're paying 600 gold per run sounds ridiculous believe me people pay it i don't understand um, and you farm around 100 relics per hour, you're making 3,600 gold with all the DE'd stuff, the cloth, the raw gold, and selling relics at 4 gold a pop. Um, that's bound to go down, but even then, most of your gold, if not the majority of it, is coming from the boosty gold. And that's a bit ridiculous. It's not very common that one person will pay that. I have had people do that. But the most common is like duo or trio. And with duo and trio boosts, the experience per hour gets a bit, it gets ridiculous. If you can get it 12 minutes or under 13 minutes consistently, you're going to hit instance lockout, five per hour. Bang. Two people each paying 300 gold per run. You're, you're laughing. <laughs> you're, you're making so much gold, it's ridiculous. And then that with the relics, deed, mats, and stuff like that. It, it's uh, it's gold I can't comprehend. And like I said earlier, the founder is not myself. It is EDV slash Taiwan. Taiwan is one of the OG grandfathers of AOE. Please check him out. Even the slave pen stuff that I came up with back in the day, that was all him and then just innovative. And this is kind of what I did working back and forth with him in his twitch chat just trying to figure out how to get this halls of stone boost finally under 12 minutes which we have done i will show you how we did that So at the very start here, we'll run up, start the timer, invis, and invis will run out right around the staircase. And what that allows us to do, there's a pack that pats around in a little circle. We'll come out of invis, cross nova, counterspell the caster, and then pull the little rock guys, and sometimes the construct that's a chargy boy or just a non-chargy boy. In this instance, it's not a chargy boy, so thank god. But what we'll do is we'll Icelands pull them, get them close, we will cone of cold. We will pull as much as we can. And what we did there was mirror image. Mirror image is weird and bugged. Pulling stuff that were out of combat. Or that you've previously been in combat with them. So we'll they'll aggro everything. We'll blizzard. We'll slow them. And we'll constantly LOS the cast. We'll arrange where we want to blink out of our block. We have a cancel aura macro. So what we'll do is we'll blink out instant nitro boosts or rocket boots, pull out the pet, pet nova, pop icy veins, everything burst, and see right there I start spell stealing a buff from the elementalist that gives you arcane haste, and with everything going, look at the blizzards, 3.9 seconds, 3.6 seconds, now here is another buff, iron might, spell steal that, that gives me 15% more damage plus the haste, with that, First burst burst, second pet nova, spell steal a buff again. I didn't get the arcane haste, that's alright. I'm gonna get it here in a little bit anyways. I send my pet to attack the little air elementals I get by, because I don't feel like hiding them. I know I can tank them with my shield. Right there, I spell steal arcane haste again, and I keep LOSing every time. Blink away, I took melee damage there because I'm bad, but I'll LOS. I see a buff on some people here, and I want it, but I know I have 9 seconds left, so I'm like, okay, I'll just wait for the next set of buffs. As soon as something starts casting on me, I just take a step forward or around the corner and start casting Blizzard again. I spell Seal Arcane Haste, turn around, slow them, 
keep running in circles. And the whole name of the game with running in circles there, with the cast, I'm constantly deselecting my target. And as soon as the first mob casts on you, it automatically snaps them as a target. That's how I know I'm getting casted on or just cast bars in general. And so what I'll do is I'll constantly detarget as soon as that pops up. I'll take a step around the corner just a little bit, blizzard around the corner and continue doing that best I can. That first phase usually takes a bit longer, but I did really well at spell sealing the buffs. And with spell sealing the buffs there, the damage is ridiculous. So here we'll just drink up, we'll get ready. I tried pulling this front to back, like from the front here all the way to the back and doing stuff. I was unsuccessful for the most part. And then Taiwan was very smart and came up with this method where you just invis to the very far back. We'll put up Ice Barrier, get that cooldown going, get topped up on mana, pull. We'll pull this Controller Pat and this Far Shardling Pack. We'll Cone of Cold the people that are meleeing our shield. We'll blink through those mobs, they'll aggro. We'll jump and Frost Nova. Pull these Far Shardlings, renew Ice Barrier. And then I like to Mirror Image right there, and you'll get instantly MC'd. But I blocked just in time, so I immune that. I come out, I rocket boots. Normally that pack comes with you if you mirror image correctly, but just get by them. You might freak out about your health, but as long as you are very good at line of sighting the cast, like that cast is 1.5 seconds. As long as you're really good about it, you're fine. So there, I'll slow them, group them up, summon pet, icy veins, and then I'll line of sight around the corner, start grouping them up, AOE, I send my pet in, so he's line of sight, pet nova, blizzard, and what I'm trying to do is since AOE's capped a certain amount of targets, I'm trying to kill as many shardlings as I can, just so I end up killing the elites faster, at the same time as group them up. So like I was saying before, you'll see me constantly detarget like that. And then as soon as a target pops up like that, I know I'm getting casted on and I gotta get out of dodge within 1.5 seconds. So here, same thing, LOS, Pet Nova, keep bursting, and I'm looking for this buff, the Iron Might buff. I see like one with a decent time, I'm like okay, I turn around the corner, spell seal it before they can cast on me, and then continue on. This guy gets by, it's okay, I'll end up deep freezing, it groups up. Or a new shield and keep LOSing. This pull's a little bit tricky. I was being a little bit greedy with Cass, and that's why I took damage. Like, see here, I'm taking damage, but I know I can tank it. But you'll see me later, I'm like, okay, I don't have much HP to work with, and I'll play the line of sight a lot more. Like here, for instance. Deep freeze, so he kind of groups back up. I see a buff that's pretty long duration. I'm gonna go grab it. There we go. Blink line of sight. And you on. So I D target as soon as a target pops up. I know I have to get out of dodge. Okay, I did it before then. But here, like. As you can see, at a 30 second, 15% damage buff, these dudes just melt. There, detargeted, I knew I was getting casted on. I detarget again. I'll finish everything, I'll loot, and yeah, like I said at the very beginning, looting is extremely important. The relics go 
go for so much this early into the expansion. It's ridiculous. So here's pull number three. I'll go in Frost Nova, pull them, and then we're gonna go run to the far hallways and get the big mobs. There is a big mob on the left hallway and straight ahead there. You'll see me check the left, and if he's close like he is right now, you can just pull him. If he's not, just pull him when you're heading back that way. I pull everything and then I mirror image and that splits the aggro into quarters. There's going to be some mobs still on you like those warriors were. That's okay. We just end up blinking through. Counter spell the cast. Continue on. These big dudes run a lot faster than the small dudes. So I'll Kona cold them. As soon as they're all grouped up, I'll blink through so I don't aggro those two and then I'll frost nova them. And I'll pull this guy on the far left with Lance. I want to call the guy in front of me. Target the guy in the far back. Blink ahead. Now here, be very careful to not block before Blink is below 10 second cooldown. So here, I'm really just buying enough time that Blink is below 10 seconds. So I can sit the block. Come out. Blink. Rocket Boots. Pet. Icy Veins. Turn around. Pet Nova. Burst. I even mana gem there as well. So here, I'm going to start looking for a buff. The more uptime I can have on that buff that gives me 15% damage, the better. I put my pet on the unrelenting constructs. Those are the ones that end up charging you, or the chargey boys. Like that. They can stun you, it does 2k damage, it's, it's annoying. They're the most annoying mobs in the whole dungeon. So here, I'll pet Nova. This part's a bit sloppy. It can be done a lot better. But I'm just doing what I did in Slave Pens. As soon as stuff targets me and starts casting, I either blink forward or like jump forward, turn around, continue the blizzard before it wears off. So here, the experience range for the monsters to die, uh, for the boosties to get experience at the entrance is like right where the mobs are now so i know i can start bursting so I, I run ahead and i know i can kill them in this little hallway so here i'm fishing for clear casting procs that's something i should have said when i'm i'm constantly trying to hold the blizzard until i get a clear casting proc sometimes you kind of just have to say fuck it sometimes it's okay but same thing there i spell still the buff the damage buff and I just keep on bursting. Put my pet on high health target, pet Nova, and burst. Make sure you always have ice barrier up so that you can soak some of these lightning bolts and chain lightnings. There, I'll even spell steal the buff again. Keep on bursting. As soon as those big guys die, this pull becomes a lot easier. It's just a matter of ranging the casts. I use mirror images just so that it splits the aggro and fourth, so all the casts aren't on me, just so I could burst a bit harder at the end. Spell steal the buff again. And finish them off here. As you can see in the party chat in the bottom left, I think someone dings right here too. Oh, no, it's not this. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, there we go. Dude, 14 hours. So you're probably wondering what kind of gear do I have for this, right? Gear I have? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Got that. Did a lot of farming. But starting from the top, Winter Grasp Helm. PvP necklace. I just haste spell power. It's the name of the game. I got my four set. 
bought this BOE cloak. That was from Violet Hold. This is from Badges. These boots are from Reputation, which is very easy with the Worm Wrestler Cord. This I bought with gold. Only two hours worth of <laughs> farming to afford this. Once again, it's just haste spell power. And then this, I actually normally have this on for boosting. And I guess well, one thing I should say with the boots, it's engineering 400 or 405 that gives you nitro boosts. With nitro boosts, that's what gives me crit rating and the rocket boots. Oh, that's the enchant I have on there. That's important, very important. And then the trinket I've been using, you can use any form of mana return trinket. There's like a mushroom you can get. There's one from Exalted with Oracles. Or if you still have the SSC trinket. That gives a ridiculous amount of spell power and mana back. And it's multiplicative with the two set from Wrath. Which gives you more mana and spell power. And they both work at the same time, right? Like, like I, I can pop a mana to him. I get both buffs, right? Very, very strong, but it makes your mana gem return a ridiculous amount of mana. I get nearly 50% of my mana, or... I'm not the right spec right now, but, um... You get, like, 40-50% of your mana back every time you mana gem. And that's how I'm affording to Blizzard as much. And then I got extremely lucky with the Embrace of the Spider, just more haste. And my weapon... That's actually BOE, very good, a badge offhand, and then any spell power wand.